So imagine that you open the paper and you see the graph question. You are so shocked by it. You're like, no, not again, not graph questions. And then you faint. So the ambulance comes and the nurse puts a gas mask on you to deliver the medicine so that they resuscitate you. Okay, I don't think that's how things actually work, but just go along with the story. So that's why when you see a graph, you think gas, med, gas, mask, medicine to give you. G stands for the graph type. Is this a bar graph or a line graph? And line can be straight line or it can be curved. Okay, A is the axis. Just look at how your teachers have marked. TBT students, look at any of our model answers, right, that we've made for you. Because we draw the axis, we put the arrows at the heads, okay? And the S is scale markings. Every big square, which is 10 small squares, has to have a marking. No matter what, you have to put a marking. And don't go in between the big squares. No, just every big square put a marking. I've seen this so many times. I don't know why students are losing marks over that. Okay, M, mark the points accurately, right? Do the small little X. E, erase your lines cleanly. So the first time you draw, you can use your pencil and go really light because you're not sure whether it's 100% correct. But once it's correct, then you can mark over it with more force. And when you erase, please erase cleanly. Last one, D is draw the best fit line. Okay, so that's graphs.